Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subraju. In this video session, we will observe HTML forms. These are popularly known as web forms. Almost all in HTML4 version, most important session. In every web page, there are the form controls available, form related controls available. These controls also classified into different types. Before entering into those controls, what is a form? Form is a container which can able to hold some more other controls. It is a popularly known as web form. I made already definition clearly. A web form or HTML form on a web page allows a user to enter data that is sent to a server for processing. So, that is form exactly it is taking from the user and it is submitting to server not form taking with the help of of course, HTTP. Now, a form will take input from the viewer as per his select or input whatever it data is entering is taking that from client to server. Forms are used to create user interactive web applications. So, it is comes under dynamic hypertext markup language concept. Not fully, I am talking about the partially. Actually, real DHTML is nothing but HTML plus cascading style sheets plus JavaScript equal to original dynamic hypertext markup language. But whereas in forms, action attribute available, it is behaving like DHTML because it is moving from one static page to another page that is a dynamic it is showing. So, based on that we are calling interactive, but not pure interactive. Form is a paid tag opening available as usual closing available. Form has a different attributes name, method, action, target, encrypt type. So, name JavaScript purpose we are providing any name, action we can specify the page which server you need to submit dot ASPX, dot JSP, dot PHP any kind of CGI related. Target generally you want to display the output on the same page or the new page, new tab we are going to specify based on values. Encrypt type, encrypt type generally we are using for the post attribute. It has a different values also to encode that and two types of possible values we are using application level as well as another one is a multi form data level. So, these also practical I will show you. It is a best concept in HTML5 environment also encrypt type. Right, These form tags are classified different types, but basically these are the form tags. Tag description, form, input, button, text area, label, field set, legend like the different different controls available based on these controls practically one by one we can see. And form fields are basically classified into two types simply input fields, select fields. Input fields again now I wrote a big list about that these are the field name, keyword, syntax. What are the field names available? What is a keyword and the related syntax? Syntax is the most important here. So, every keyword, every syntax based, I will develop some login pages, some registration forms in couple of minutes. So, again these fields supports a different kind of attributes. What are the attributes basically available here? So, these many big list of attributes waiting for us to implement practically forms. Attribute, name, any name we can apply, value, any value you can apply, name only JS purpose, value visibility purpose, size text box size, max length how many characters, rows columns visibility for only text area, read only, true or false, by default false, disabled is equal to disabled, we are using to disable a form control, checked is equal to checked, we are using generally checked attribute for the radio buttons as well as check boxes. And finally, multiple. So, when you are going to convert a combo box into list box, we are using multiple is equal to multiple or multiple is equal to true or multiple is equal to false. So, now based on these attributes, one by one examples we can observe. So, 
let will start one login application for better understanding and first i am giving as usual formalities html header section title part html forms title close header close body open body close html close and inside simply form form open and form close once form closed inside whatever required elements available input type is equal to text close that and i am using br same control i am going to copy paste and i want to replace the text as password small login form i am showing to you and next one submit button i am talking next one i am going to be reset cancel purpose i am using and form inside i am using label user name yes i am using label break tag i am using and password level also same label i want to copy paste and i want to modify that password yes password write submit button and reset so maximum no attributes available simply one type attribute i used text box password box submit reset it is a first basic example i am showing to you just observe on the screen and refresh on the web browser and you can able to see and br available that br will remove and perfect it will be set right no br and no br yes and refresh so username password submit reset whatever we entered the same values are displaying here for example i entered the name is my name i entered and i am giving password i am clicking reset the values removed so cancel also we can say now we can apply these many attributes on this login form so before i am going to apply first attribute name i made already javascript purpose logical purpose we are using generally name is equal to i said you name real time industry purpose name attribute compulsory you need to maintain pwd name is equal to sn name is equal to cancel simple i said c a n c cancel so name attribute completed run it nothing will be changes same thing now name attribute after i am using value attribute value always visible to the end user value equal to i am writing name name for example enter valid user name just i am asking the user please enter your valid user name if i save i am going to run on that observe clearly visible to you and if i am going to run that again value here value equal to enter valid password enter user valid password as yes, we'll observe that but this is a drawback of here actually my my thinking is different and differently expected but it is giving in encrypted format okay this is one kind of drawback we can say and come down now value i am giving value is equal to i am giving sign in sign in again value is equal to clear the data yes you can refresh on the web browser so if you are entering also here you need to select then you need to enter your username otherwise it will be add the data if you are entering so password my password entered i don't want for example this one clear clear it original data came means value attribute automatically appears so name i shown to you value already completed size attribute we can apply and size i need small text box so i am applying on that size equal to size equal to i want a 6 pixel text box enough 
and refresh observe the text box 6 pixel text box and after that there is a max length attribute available maximum characters so i am taking max length is equal to i want to take just six characters now you can refresh and enter more than six characters remove whatever available raju one two three four five six it is not taking because you said six characters only max it takes six characters after the next attribute is rows columns this is possible with the text area read only yes possible here we can apply read only equal to so once you are coming to my username and you cannot do anything just read only is equal to i said true for example so whenever you are saying read only true if you are trying to refresh that virtual value came if you are trying to cut this one you are really trying to remove that one nothing possible you want to cut it also right click so copy available cut is not there you can observe so read only just true next one read only after disabled is equal to disabled yes i want to disable my clear so disabled is equal to disabled so whenever i am going to say that disabled is equal to disabled observe now clear button now enabled refresh that one now disabled try to click on that something data enter here and try to try to click on this so it is unable to work so almost all input level whatever attributes available from our list i made very clear that just observe whatever the attributes i implemented html to and top to bottom html and in middle form form level attributes available write the form level attributes first basic level information means basic level uh, input types i am showing to you so these are the basic level input types so completely we did almost all input level attributes right guys we can see after that rows and columns we didn't apply here so we'll try to apply on text area right i'm removing all these things and i'm applying text area once a text area if you are going to say that and text area level yes completely and your rows available columns available first i need some data there and i am writing google.com just i am opening some kind of what is html symbol i typed there it is providing some data i am going to copy paste that once copied you can paste in your inside text area just a data purpose and i am going to run on my web browser observe the text area by default two rows only visible and by default 20 columns only visible you want to see more than that practically you can assign for example i want to see rows equal to i want at least minimum five i want calls is equal to three zero yes come on refresh perfect so this is a text area so here name also available name not visibility javascript my t area whenever i am saying that refresh nothing difference available because name always for the javascript this is a text area control rows columns possible here text area is multi line input text box type now if you are coming that i made already very clear regarding text area level attributes calls rows name calls number rows number and name is message whatever you are going to supply so after the text area will observe select select means simply we can develop combo box how we are going to develop that so remove this inside form whatever available and i am keeping select select open select close and once you are going to close the select right to close it once select closed inside option available option right option you can select once again that so once option you selected and i am writing here javascript i am writing javascript so like that different different values i required before i am going to write more values i am writing one information to the end user select any one item once you are writing 
I given signal to user very clearly select any one item because combo was single selection. Then I am writing JavaScript like there are some elements. Let me copy paste multiple times to come to know. For example, live script I said, JavaScript I said, next one is Dojo and next one I said jQuery. Next one I am saying Angular JS, any value, but I am entering JavaScript related frameworks, Ember JS and I am entering Node.js, Backbone.js, React.js, Lime.js, like this number of available, Lime.js. More than 100 JavaScript frameworks are waiting in the market. So, these are the total option level. Here also you can mention better value. Value you can mention LS. So, like that remaining also you can implement, come to on your and select any one item I said. So, there is that one. So, how you close you can check it, you did not close properly, you did not open that, right. Select any one item, click on that. At a time you can able to select only single item. Now, I am selecting live script, that is all. I am selecting dojo, that is all. I am selecting angular js. So, more than one item unable to select, lime js. So, combo box means at a point of time we can select only single item. Select our country, best example for the combo box. Next one, same combo box you want to convert into list box, then you can do like this, select multiple, multiple is equal to multiple. So, it is converting into list box, now list box. Select one or more items, select any not one items, item you can select or items you can select. So, I am giving end user to one picture. So, anyone hold the control key, select any number. For example, no, I want to select only three items, only two items, more than that I do not want to allow the end user. Definitely, we can do like that also. It is not the matter of how many elements you are selecting based on JavaScript by taking this index, we can control only two you want to allow, only two also you can. So, depends on business requirements we can do, but by default it is allowing multiple items to select from the list box by using multiple is equal to multiple or multiple is equal to on, right. Any one attribute you can use that parameter and next one is radio buttons. Radio buttons completely different. When we are selecting about the gender, we are using radio buttons only. So, how these radio buttons we are applying? Check boxes how we are applying, what is button, what is reset, what is image, like that we can see in, in advanced level, these are basic forms in the video 1. In the video 2, I will show you these advanced level form controls. Thank you for watching my video, catch me for more videos on youtube.com slash